Do you hear that? That's a noisy classroom. An online noisy classroom means that they're collaborating. I love a noisy classroom. That's working for me, yeah? Students are engaged, they're working together, they're collaborating. Many of you are doing that, and it's something that we should be looking more into, okay? Um, you know, the breakout rooms are a place where students feel more comfortable. You can hear that over talk, can't you? You can hear them talking over me. Because they're collaborating, okay? Now I'm gonna jump in and see how they get on, uh, and then we're gonna bring it all together. And this is actually a single period. This is a 35, 40 minute period, okay? And so they're doing all that collaboration in the breakout rooms immediately. Hey guys, I just want to let you know, okay, 8.50 is when we're meeting now, not, not 8.40, 8.50, because it seems some of the discussions are going quite deep, and I want you to carry on with that activity, okay? So make sure you've got one key finding that you're going to be to, uh, bringing back to the main group that you can talk about, okay? So I can give a, a holistic, I can give um, basically feedback to all of the breakout rooms by doing a, a breakout room broadcast, okay? So everyone can hear me, I can hear all groups, and I can feed back to them. Uh, first thing first, how did you, how did this work out for you, this discussion point, having collaborative work online, just in a small pod, having a breakout room, how did that work out? Was that okay? Um, I think it was easier for everyone to like, do the work because you had, because some people feel more comfortable speaking to others in smaller groups instead of a bigger group. Yeah. So I think it was easier for people to try to meet, uh, communicate and ask other people for help. They didn't understand it. And to help as like a group, I guess. Brilliant, okay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that feedback. Thank you guys. That's one thing that we're doing online. It's brilliant because we can continue to do group work, okay, uh, in our math department. It's not every class and it's not all singing and dancing because there, there is a lot of taught skills that students do need to know. So a lot of it is actually uh, annotating and writing on the iPad. And I'm sure my colleagues will be talking about that in this session. All right, so yeah, the first five minutes of uh, sort of my setup, my class that I have running, um, I join the meeting first on the laptop um, and can start welcoming students as they're showing up right at the beginning of class. And Marco just checking in with you again. Simultaneously, I'm logging in with the iPad, uh, making sure that the sound is on only one of them and not the other one so I don't get the echo effect. And uh, then I present from the iPad the, the notes that I have going on. To use point slope form, I need a point, which I have, and I need the slope, which I have, because I know it's parallel to this one. So I would write this down as y minus one is equal to three times x minus negative two, so x plus two. Right? But we can see if we simplify this, all right, so whatever I'm presenting to the class, I have this here. And I switched over to this sort of setup rather than just being at my desk because um, frequently I'm doing things on a graphing calculator or if I want to uh, grab something from um, an example from a textbook, for example, or, or uh, some other resource that I have around here, I can use this as a document camera um, in order to take a picture of it, right? So I can display my calculator here uh, pretty easily with the setup and you know walk through the instructions for the students on what they need to do and flip back and forth pretty quickly and easily uh, between the, the different modes of, of presentation. Um, it's also nice with the laptop I can see all of the students who are in the class right so I still have like a visual of them even though I'm presenting on this frequently and you're presenting that takes over your whole screen and you can't see uh, the students at the same time that you're looking at what you're presenting. But with the dual setup, you can do both. Um, the other advantage to doing this and something that we've been doing for a while in the math department is that we're able to save the notes that we create on the iPad uh, as a PDF and post those in classroom so that students have access to them. Okay, so even after switching to online classes, we have kept our high level of expectations, like the, the quality of work they produce. Matthias, can you help me with the caution rule? How do we apply caution rule? Like if I call the function as u over v, how are we going to do caution rule there? We give them the feedback and they really are benefited even if it is on, on, online. Uh, Naman, what I said is you have drawn the tangent on the calculator, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. You just clear that tangent. Otherwise, when you go to another graph, another function, the tangent will still stay there. Oh, okay. You so you get that. U. U times v dash. v dash divided by over v square. V square. That's right. Now you just have to plug in the values, right? You have got each function ready with you. Although the online teaching cannot replace the classroom learning experience, we as teachers try to do the best possible in this new situation. And the students have also got adapted to this and we make the best out of the situation now at present. And we really enjoy doing it. So basically, that's what we're doing in our department, teaching mathematics online. Uh, using breakout rooms, using annotations on the iPads, using uh, overhead projector to display the actual GDC, the calculator, a whole bunch of stuff. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Of course, there's the interaction between the students and the teachers uh, and the one-to-one -one meetings and the revision sessions and so on and so forth. As always, make sure you consider subscribing for more EdTech videos and more demonstrations like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.